This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by GoDaddy. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Rumor Roundup. I'm your host, John Ranger. It's the show where we take all the tech rumors from the week, and there was a lot of them this week, and we smash them and condense them in a compactor of one show of rumor awesomeness. Of this week, it's all about Google. We'll be talking about the Google smartwatch, Nexus 8, and when we might see Android 4.5. This is Rumor Roundup. Let's go ahead and get started. So it feels good to finally not have a week talking about the Galaxy S5 since so Samsung took all the mystery out of that. So should we talk about the Galaxy X6? I hear it's going to be made of space age adamantium. It's going to have a nine inch screen and be an 8K display. Just, you heard it here first folks. So this has been rumored for a really, really long time, the Google smartwatch. A few reports have surfaced recently suggesting that LG is working on a smartwatch for the big G. Techno Buffalo can confirm after speaking to an industry source that a device is indeed far along in development. Right now, it appears that Google is searching for OEMs to build its smartwatches, but LG is definitely on board and has developed a prototype device, our sources have said. HTC has also been rumored as a possible OEM by Bloomberg, but if I was a betting man, I'd bet on it coming from LG. Additionally, the watch will make its debut during Google's I.O. Developers Conference in June, so not even that far away. When it comes to wearables, though, design is obviously important since it's going to be on you and be seen all the time. Uh, we're told it looks a little bit like the Sony smartwatch, meaning it's got a square display instead of a curved or rounded one, making it more in line with the existing smartwatches on the market. Also, it will have an always-on access to Google Now, which makes total sense, similar to the Moto X, which means you can just speak commands at any time, like Dick Tracing, just talk to it. Uh, a color screen is also on board of the size, we still don't know yet. For those of you who'd like to customize, though, a simple strap will be here, as opposed to anything special, like maybe the Qualcomm Talk, it's got the battery built in. Uh, so we're thinking about a number of rubber, plastic, uh, it's probably going to be the go-to strap option. The device does not have a camera, we are told, and it doesn't appear that it'll also be able to place calls. Instead, it'll just really receive notifications from your Android smartphone. It's a notification machine. We don't hear anything about iOS support, but I wouldn't bet the house on that. So if that wasn't enough Google smartwatch rumors, we also have a bit more. Techno Buffalo broke the story that Google is going to announce its smartwatch OS sometime in the spring before I.O. Right now, it looks like the time frame will fall between March and May, again, ahead of the I.O. conference. The company will announce the operating system so that additional OEMs can get on board so that apps are ready when the devices finally hit the market. Let me take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at GoDaddy. It's Go Time, and GoDaddy is here to help you kick butt online. If you always want to start a website, now's a pretty good time. You can pick your own .com for only $2.95. To do it, visit GoDaddy.com and enter promo code TECHNO295 to get your .com for, again, just $2.95. Although some limitations may apply. So if you want to start your brand new website, go ahead and do it. Now is the time to be an entrepreneur, create your own blog, let everybody know what you think about your turtle collection. Again, that is TECHNO295 to get a $2.95 URL. Now back to the video. Let's just keep it with Google while we're here. Uh, Google reportedly has plans to ditch its Nexus 7 this summer and instead explore the less competitive 8-inch market. According to an unnamed Google Dublin employee, the search giant will completely stop development of the Nexus 7 because the market is super duper saturated with 7-inch tablets. Uh, curiously though, the rumor states the device will be unveiled in July alongside Android 4.5 instead of making an appearance at I.O. in June, which looks like it's going to be a ton of stuff coming out at I.O. anyway. The mysterious device will allegedly be developed by Asus. They've been manufacturing a partner of Google's for quite a while. Uh, currently, the most notable 8-inch tablets are made by Samsung and LG, while Apple's iPad mini comes pretty close at 7.9 inches. Also, Amazon's Kindle Fire HDX is 8.9, so a ton of competition uh, in the 8-inch market. Virtually no details of this alleged Nexus 8 were shared, though presumably it would launch with Google's latest version of Android, Android 4.5, which we also know between this much and this much about. Uh, no other details were provided by that source, unfortunately. So it's going to be a busy first half of the year for Google. We're going to get a smartwatch, Android 4.5, might see the new Nexus 8. Although, I don't know what's happening with the Nexus 10. I hear rumors of a new one of those coming for quite a while. We still have not yet seen it. I would bank on that coming at I.O. as well. 
So what do you guys think? Google smartwatch? I think if any company could pull it off, Google's probably one of the ones that could. Looks like it's going to be just notification machine, so different approach than what Samsung has taken with its gear uh, line of smart wearables. I like notifications. I really liked it on the Pebble. I liked it on the Qualcomm Talk. This might be really the next step, and having a full app store uh, could be really cool as well. But I want to hear what you guys think. Leave the comments right down below. Are you excited for a smartwatch? You're not excited for a smartwatch? You're more excited about that 8 inch tablet? Let me know what you think. Until next time, I am John Rentner from Techno Buffalo. See you guys in the next video. What's up, everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region, or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.